Welcome to Rocket ATM Tutorials. This video is going to demonstrate how to reset a keypad on a Hantel or a Genmega. Both manufacturers operate in the same way. So Hantel or Genmega keypad. If you have a uh, specific error code relating to EPP, although this one's not showing an EPP error, but if you've contacted your processor and you've detected and they've troubleshot it to detect that there's an EPP problem, we are going to show you how to reset your keypad. So using your key, open up the top door of the ATM machine. And once you have the, the top door slid out, we're going to be getting down underneath the keypad down below here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, so with the top door open, Basically, we are underneath the keypad. You can see that the power is on. The power needs to be on. And what we're do trying to do is detect the two connectors. And unfortunately, this, this is a process that requires you to kind of twist your body a little bit. But uh, as you can see, there's two major connectors that are powering this keypad. There's a small connector with about four slots in it or two wires going in it and then the bigger one which has about six slots in it so what we're looking for is the the two jumper pins located underneath the big connector so you can see that there's two little pins right here that are coming out of this keypad and all we're really doing is grabbing a metallic object I'm just using a key and with my key I'm gonna tap both of those jumper pins those prongs that are sticking out I'm gonna touch it with the key key there we go simultaneously hold it there for a few seconds and let go oops there we go and we got that red light come on which is good now we need to go up to the top and restart the ATM machine. Okay, once back up on the top, here's the power switch. Go ahead and shut it off. I'm going to wait a few seconds. About well, five or ten seconds usually is good enough. We don't want to do it too quickly as if the ATM got hit with lightning or something. So just giving it a five, five or ten seconds pause, that should be good enough. Go ahead and turn it back on again. This will clearly take a few seconds for it to boot up. But once it boots up, you'll then need to contact your processor to enter what's known as an encryption code.